kukuwa na wasichana lazima ombe Mungu pia kuwe mtu right. Kwa sababu kupata pia unaweza pata msichana lakini si mtu right si wako. Hamjambo na karibu ndani ya Jalango TV, karibu ndani ya Stories za 254 na basi karibu ndani ya Kaka Kaka TV. Na basi leo tuko jijini Nairobi ambapo kuna hafla ya wasanii wa ngoma za injili. Na basi nimekutana na msanii amazing tena sana ambaye anafanya vyema East and Africa Mashariki ambaye anajulikana kama Mash Mwana ambaye ameshirikisha ngoma na yeye Sai Sai. Ni kweli? Ni kweli. Ehe, na basi ngoma hizo zote zinazidi kufanya vyema uko vipi? Niko poa na shukuru Mungu. Ehe. Uh, appreciate this opportunity. Uh, na shukuru Mungu pia tumeona 2024. Amen. It's a great year tunaona even one of the uh, tusema event ya gospel. Amen. Watu wamekaa kumsikiza Mungu. We are very grateful. Na mbona umewa show? Kawaida Mungu Mungu anasaidia. <laughs> All right, nilikuwa nataka tuzungumzie mambo ya gospel kidogo nchini Kenya. Uh, tumeona wasanii wengi wa gospel wana complain tena sana. Wakisema kwamba hawapati support kutoka kwa Wakenya kama vile wasanii wa secular wanapatiwa support kutoka Kenya. Unaweza zungumza vipi? Ah, uh, unajua ukisema upewe support, sijui kama uko na church kitu inaitwa support system ya church. Ukiangalia event kama hii ni inbuild event ya church. Lazima kuwe na mahali wasio wana wanakusupport. Wewe support wana kila mtu. Baada ukiangalia event kama hii wasio wana tusupport. Kuna wasio wengi na nafu wasanii wengi wa gospel wanatoa nyimbo wanaweka tu YouTube. Lazima usukume hata watu wa secular pia wanasukuma nyimbo. So ukiona mtu ana complain sana that means kuna kitu ambacho afanye right. Na hiyo right ni kuenda extra kuhakisha hizo shows za secular zinacheza secular pia ngoma yake iko hapo ya gospel. Wakisema we are playing a gospel set. That means song yake is kosa for done. Yeah. 2023 kusema kweli watu wengi tena sana walikujua through size 8 mm. ile ngoma ambayo mlitoa mm. sasa tuko 2024 plan mm. gani ah uh, naweza sema kwenye industry ya gospel mm -hmm. kwenye industry ya gospel uh, naweza sema we ai kama mashmwana niko top 10 and the reason why is kada tu na nyimbo ya size 8 i'm an award winner i'm an award winner of gospel awards mm -hmm and um, I've been giving music after music. I've done a song with uh, Guardian Angel. I've done a song with Daddy Owen. I've done a song with uh, Jabi D, Boss MOG. So, but I really appreciate because Sai Zed, she's a big name. She's one of the biggest female artists who gave me an opportunity to, to do a song with her. And actually we are releasing another song with her this either January or Feb. So um, I, I think we need more of collaborations to push our industry to the next level. We need more of uh, collaboration to reach and to, 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 to communicate with other, other fan base. Yeah, so it's good to collaborate. So I really appreciate that Sai Zed worked with me because she's a big name yeah. in the industry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Na kuna mazungumzo ambayo tulifanya na Timeless akasema ya kwamba unakuja mbio tena sana. Mm. Nini hiki ambacho unafanya ambacho wasanii wengine wanafaa kukuangalia wasema kwamba ah I need to do this thing. Don't nimfikie mashmwana. Kama 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 wewe ni msanii wa, wa gospel. Yeah. You only depend on God. Because yeah. Mimi I'm not the most talented guy. I'm not that I'm not that big superstar as people when I but in my in my area of music, the music that I do, I really love it and always invest on what I do, and I love music. Music is number one to me. So when I'm doing it, I don't do for views or what. So when I'm doing it, it's very genuine. Some, some music, as I've, you have seen in the show, people know my music. I, I, I'm not forcing my music to people, but... Yeah, but at the end of the day, this music, these fans, they need good music. I always give them good music, and they, they want to choose the song that we love. So if they love me music, glory to God. Because the, the song that I'm doing is not from me. It's from God through me to yeah. them. So it's all about just being willing to, to give them music and to inspire them. This concert that I've done is a Kanisa. Yeah. Kuna jinsi ambavyo you gospel artist can you plan a concert ya Kenyan gospel artist? Yeah, yeah of course. Uh, a year ago, two years. I think a year ago I did my my album uh, Nairobi Cinema. It was sold out, and this year too I'm doing an, a, a show up at Nairobi Cinema, and uh, I, I know it will be amazing. Lazima nwaite. 
I know it will be amazing and God at at a dog vitumo because as a minister it's all about giving. Because Mungu do see to lipa. Mi says kwambe ya of course ni mepata do mop music but nese my it's all about the grace of God. Sisi hata kufanya hizi event. Because event kama hii ni ya church yetu our spiritual dad ndo ametupatia the blessing kuifanya. Kuna na successful watu wamejaa kwa street and si concert ime imetajwa ime kwa kwa any tv or any radio it's just few people knew about it and you can see the turnout so i thank god for this yeah. na basi before la ulize pale tuliko na msanii Willy Paul mm. Willy Paul pale unajua kama wewe msanii wa gospel wanasema god is love na basi pale Willy Paul alikuwa anasema kwamba uh, wasichana wamemtesa sana akalia pale kwenye mitandao ya kijamii akisema watu waachane na wasichana unaweza mpatia nini kama mungu alipatia msichana mbona tuachane na wao Bila ya sema Mungu alimuumba Adam na akampatia Eve. So yeye labda sasa kwa anaenda against the Bible. Cuz kama ni Mungu amesema kukuwa na wasichana lazima ombe Mungu pia kumbe mtu right. Cuz kupata pia unaweza pata msichana lakini si mtu right si wako. So atakutesa tu. So it's all about choosing the right person. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Eric Komodi hapa president of Comedy Africa. Yo yo this is Kushman pedi wa magenge mambo vipi watu wangu wa Nairobi na Kenya mzima subscribe kwa story za nini 254 across all social media platforms hapana kuchanganya <laughs> na wewe ndo dori subscribe right now finya sahi sa wewe finya